is time once again for the Real People Multigame Solitaire Mega Tournament, where Vaughn just took her third achievement. She's now halfway to victory, which she desperately needs, as you may remember from last time. So now she's got to decide what to do with her um, second action. She has a way to get an achievement next turn if she can meld paper, and I can show you that if she happens to do that. She can get a special achievement. However, she doesn't really want to cover up her compass because she can use that to jump ahead in age. In fact, she could do that soon if she could get more crowns than, um, than Pinky here. But she has another way to take top cards from people, and that's with Enterprise. So I think she's going to go ahead and do this, just focus on getting her achievements before the others um, do something destructive with their, their stronger cards. I think that might be a good strategy right now. That's the lane she's kind of been racing in, so she might as well stick with it. Um, and she still has a backup if that if that doesn't work out. So what she's got to do is she's got to meld this. And then on her next turn, I'll show you how she gets a special achievement by melding paper this turn, if it's still there. All righty, Junior used um, his atomic theory to draw and meld two sevens. He got publications out now, so he's probably going to use that on his next turn. Uh, Pinky had a less exciting turn of drawing and melding in that she just drew a card and melded a card. Fortunately, nothing special happened with the melding. The, there was no incentive for melding that came from cities in this case because she melded on a color she already had. Uh, so she's not going to get any more melding action incentives probably for the rest of the game unless she loses some cards. But she did get evolution out, so that should be fun. So now as promised, let's look at how Vaughn is going to get an achievement. So first... She can play her green or blue cards left. Now, everyone could copy this, but they're already um, splayed left. But now they have to draw a four for every color they have splayed left, which is actually going to work out in Vaughn's favor because Pinky's going to draw the last four there. She's got one color splayed left, and that's going to let Vaughn splay her green cards left, draw a five, so now she's a little bit further ahead in age, and then she's going to meld this. Now, as you can see, this one's already splayed left, correct? But there's this thing here, which says it should splay left, so what does she get for doing that? She gets a special achievement, and it's left, so we look for la 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 legend, la la left, la la legend, and Vaughn has her fourth achievement now. She's two achievements away from winning, um, and if she can get her score up, she could start taking, if she can get to 25 points, she can do two achievements and win the game outright, right, like that. But we'll see if um, Junior has something to say about it. Junior really didn't specifically. He splayed up and then um, reorganized it so he had have Atomic Theory back up, drew and melded a seven. Um, Pinky has now got a nine in her hand. She used Evolution twice. That There's ways that that works. It's, I don't need to go into it. Let's go back to Vaughn. Okay, Vaughn is going to do something similar to her City States move, except she's doing Societies. It's kind of like a later City States um, she's going to, and it involves light bulbs. So everyone, she has the most crowns, I believe. Yep. So everyone has to give her a top card with a light bulb. So here's where she's catching up. Um, I think he might just go ahead and cover it up with this one. And is it a top card with a light bulb? Yeah, it does. It usually they say like non the color of the the card, but he's picking the color of the card, and I think Pinky might do the same. They don't want to give her a seven, so she she's in sixes now though. Pinky was incautious with her evolution nine draw. Um, Junior just took it from her with his sanitation, and I think he'll just go ahead and meld it now. So he's got ecology on the, the board, and he might want to even just do that to get two tens. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Get two tens, and then hopefully no one has a card that can take that from him. Usually you want to do that as your first action and then meld the card, but I think he... He might just go ahead and risk it. All right, Pinky and Vaughn both just went. Um, they have some interesting things in the works. So Pinky's got this composites card. She drew another nine and melded it. Not a very interesting turn, but this demand could be huge. Um, Vaughn, for her part, she has canning, which could really buff up her score quickly. Um, that is if the composites don't like, 
decimated. Oh, just the highest card. Yeah, so she. it could be a battle between composites and canning to see, like, if Vaughn can, like, take the game or not. And there's also Junior, Junior who has a, a 10 card, and I don't know what it is. So let's go look at that. All right, Junior's got some interesting choices. He could ha use the Internet to draw and score a 10 and then draw and meld a 10, which might be good. Uh, the only problem is that canning, he's going to have to copy that effect if she does it. And then he'd be scoring, well, then he's just scoring a lot, and that's not a problem. He also was thinking about trying to do bioengineering. The problem is he would need to have two turns to make it work. Transfer a top card with a leaf from your board to from any opponent's board to your score pile. So he could transfer this one, but then Pinky still has three leaves. The name of the game for him, if he does this, is to make it so that someone has fewer than three leaves. It's been a very leaf-rich game. So that's going to be hard to pull off. He could do it in two actions, but he's probably not going to get the opportunity to do that, especially since Canning's out. So that's going to kind of make up his mind for him. He's going to go with the Internet, knowing he's probably going to have to score the Internet, but at least he's going to get to draw and meld a 10 first. And so he's going to draw and score a 10, draw and meld a 10, and we have this one. This is not one he's going to have to score, so he's... Turn top card with a leaf from your board, draw and score a six. There's no, yeah, so that could be interesting too, but it's Pinky's turn. We can't think about Junior anymore. Pinky did a composite, it was huge. She got 16 points out of it. So now, does she have enough for an achievement? I think she does. I don't think the, she's gonna worry about that. Oh yeah, she's got plenty of points. The only reason she'd really achieve right now is to prevent Vaughn from getting it. She's gonna have to win by other means. Um, probably, well, we'll have to take, she has one more action. We'll have to take a look at her hand and then come back to you. But it's this game's going fast. It's going to be over very soon. Um, she could just do composites again to get more points. And, but she's not going to get cards from people's hands. And, you know, she's only going to get nine points off of that. I think she's got to think of another route. She's already the point leader right now, I think. So that's really what she wants to be because we're getting close to, just running, running out the clock and ending the game on points, in which case she probably wants the most points. And here she has the way to do it. Um, game's gonna be over right now. She's gonna draw a card value one higher than the highest card in her score pile. That is going to be an 11. You can't draw an 11, so the player with the highest points wins. That's Pinky. She was behind, kind of. Not not totally, she, she had a nice, she had some advantages, but she didn't have any more points than anyone. She had no achievements. She came out and won the game. So there's a flat rate that 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 um, that end condition eventuality is going to cost everyone and gain everyone. So I'll come back to you with how the scoring shakes out and see if there's anyone we have to say goodbye to. All right. So it shook out that uh, Pinky had 28 points. So we just multiplied that by 10, and that was her bonus. Uh, so she's at negative 280 now, which is much better than negative 560, which is where she was before. Um, then we took the difference of Vaughn's points from hers and, sub and multiplied that by 10 and subtracted it from Vaughn's points. And we did the same for Junior. Junior came out all right. He's in bad shape now, but he didn't. he's not out of the tournament. He's at negative 600. And then Vaughn, just over the top of that 750, she's at negative 744. And so we're going to have to say goodbye, which is a shame. Vaughn's been a, a good player pretty much every game she's been in but sometimes some like stroke of lightning or something will just come and take it down she's a very like um i would say very like uh dependable player like you kind of know that like if you were to pick a teammate you could probably pick vaughn and feel like she's someone you could count on but maybe a little too staid i don't know it didn't seem like she made really any super terrible decisions i did the game kind of fast um but there we go. We're going to have to say goodbye to Vaughn. She's been a nice presence. Um, I think it's kind of fitting that one person in this Baralti re reunion got removed. Um, I'm just sorry that one person's Vaughn. I don't, but I'm, I like all of these three people, so I, I wouldn't have liked to say goodbye to any of them. But let's say goodbye to this one. Bye, Vaughn.